This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. In this video, we see an example of someone experiencing this 500 server error uh, using Migrate Me 4 to migrate their Joomla 3 site to Joomla 4. This error message is coming up and it's kind of hard to uh, read, but if you look at the details in there, the real thing you want to see is this. Error, zero class, ampersand quote, zip archive, ampersand quote, so that's in quotes, not found. So what's happening here is that uh, Migrate Me 4 or whatever extension you're using is going to use zip uh, in PHP, but it's not available. Now on this site, if we go to system and then system information and then to the PHP settings, we see down here that native zip is uh, not enabled. No, it's not enabled. So what you want to do in your web hosting control panel, you're going to uh, activate zip. Now you might have to contact your web host to do this. Uh, there's lots of different uh, web host and control panels. Let me just show you one, how you would turn this on. Uh, it's not for this site, but it is for a different site. Okay, in this C panel, what we're going to do is just search up here for PHP, and you'll see that we have select PHP version. When we click on that, it will open up the PHP version where we can then um, select not only which PHP version you're using, but we can scroll down and look down here, zip is not enabled. So we're going to check that. And now we would just go up. Uh, actually, the module was automatically saved in this. You might have to apply it in some interfaces, but that will be the fix. Uh, and then your extension, be it migrate me for whatever extension you're using, looking for um, to use zip, will be able to as long as you turn it on for the PHP version you're using. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.